Hey guys, this is Sari Torres. And this is Frankie Torres. And we're the Pixel Slayers. Today we're playing Area 51, uh, the Japanese version, because it's cheaper. <laughs> and this is on the Sega Saturn. Yep. And we've got our light guns. Nearly refurbished light gun. Yeah, we have a video. I don't know what order these are going to be dropped in, but uh, we actually made a video out of necessity to clean this light gun. Yeah, this light gun was not working uh, for this video, so we made a video about it, how and to fix it. Frankie fixed it, and it is working like a beaut. So... So Sari's really good at these Japanese menus, so I'm gonna let her navigate. I'm, I think really good's a bit of an overstatement. She's better than I am, at least she can understand what it kind of says. <laughs> yeah, I took one year of Japanese in college, and I've got, like, I've retained, like, Probably an elementary school level of knowledge. This game's pretty easy already, so I think we'll be able to get through. Yeah. Okay. You ready? I am ready. Let's do it. Gimme. You're gonna have to... Yeah, you got it. And Terry Crews is gonna come on the screen. Terry Crews! It's not really Terry Crews. <laughs> it looks does. like him. It looks like he's dated for the time, too. Like, that looks like about probably how old he would be. When this game was released. Maybe it is, but it's probably not. It's probably He was not. busy playing football back then. Oh yeah, that's right. I forget these things. <sighs> not Terry Crews! We love I him. would never do that. <laughs> was it? Was, oh, Terry Crews was in video game ads, right? He was never actually in a video game or was he? I think he has been in some sense, like... He became popular. He does voice work and stuff. Oh, okay. That's probably what I'm thinking. Yeah, he does a lot of vocal work. And I think he actually stars in... Yeah, I've seen him in a few trailers. He's in yeah. some games. Like, he'll do a live-action part for, like, a game that he's not actually in. Yeah. He'll be, like, talking. Microsoft, I think. In one of yeah, games. they, like, CGI'd him for a demo or something. Yeah, for their 1X thing. Uh, E3 show. Yeah. You didn't think you would get a history of Terry Crews on our Area 51 video, but that's just an extra thing. I wouldn't necessarily say history. Okay, well, fun facts. facts. There you go. Fun. No! I got, got me. I don't know how to use it. I think I shoot it. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh. I was trying to get rid of that RPG There's something dude. in box? No, there isn't. There's something in that? No, there isn't. Love that fire effect. Oh, yeah. I love how we're playing a Japanese game and it has the American flag. I guess because we're stereotypical <laughs> Americans here. This is a very stereotypical American game. I was very surprised when I found out this was not made, like... By Americans? Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, actually, I think it was made by Americans. Oh, really? It's made by Midway. Just... Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. yeah. I also want to mention that this is not Area 51A. Horror. Oh. Don't shoot the sexy lady. Can't shoot sexy ladies. A sexy lady. Do people still listen to that song? I don't think so. Did I you think... shoot the sexy lady? He doesn't let you shoot them. Don't worry about it. There's no I'm friendly fire in this I'm very worried about the sexy lady. I'm always worried about the sexy lady. This game is like... Ooh, ammo. Even Very like easy is almost too easy, but at least we could probably get through the whole game. Yeah, we're doing the. Ah! Oh yeah, you say that, and then this happens. Flaming barrels of death. You hit the barrels, and I'll. Okay, then we got him. Good lie. So is power up just like life up? I don't know. And these boxes that say ammo, what does that do? Because I have infinite ammo. But... Is that just like reload without Maybe reloading? Maybe it gives you more oh, special yeah. ammo. It looks like it reloads without reloading. Wow, or that maybe is it's like, so beneficial. Oh, you know what? It is special ammo because it's colored differently. Yes, mine's and just And I boring. beat that grenade guy with like one hit. I'm getting the one on the left. I don't quite know what we're supposed to do there, but hey, we got through it. Oh, now we're going to drive away these babies. We sweet babies. Oh, and mine's flashing. No, I hit the Forgive me, sexy lady. I lost my weapons upgrade. Mesa Logic. So it says on that truck. I'm sure that's a real company. Product placement. No! 
Sorry. If people get in my way, okay, that bad was... stuff's gonna happen. <laughs> that might have been me. I can't really remember. Yay, I get a better score than you finally. Wait, I thought I was first. Oh, maybe. You... I don't know anymore. Yeah, I think I'm first because I was doing the menu selections. Mm. I almost shot that first. Ah! Holy mother! Okay, I'll shoot the barrels, you shoot the people. Or aliens, or whatever the hell they are. So much pressure. Sometimes if my trigger finger gets tired, I use my middle finger, which I don't know if that's like uncouth. Nah. Everybody has their own style. You could be like gangster. Yeah. Shoot sideways. Yeah. Maybe it's way too close. Yeah, too close. Too close. Or too close. This is probably one of my favorite. I know this is not like one of the greatest shooters ever by any means. Like it's definitely doesn't have a lot of like critical acclaim that like House of the Dead and other games in this genre get, but as far as fun factor, this is like one of my favorites. Oh yeah, you gotta think about the fun factor. I guess I just like because it doesn't really try to too hard to do anything. It just well, <laughs> that that was not a good thing to say, but you know what I mean. Like it just doesn't take itself too seriously. It's just fun. Like it's a fun game. And sometimes you just need that. Like, I know this is a completely different game, but I just beat Kirby Planet Robobot, <laughs> which is, like, probably the opposite of this game. <laughs> but, yeah. I feel similarly about Kirby Planet Robobot, because it was not very hard at all, but damn was it fun. That's, that's my weird comparison with Area 51 to Kirby Planet Robobot. You will hear that nowhere else. Ooh, I got a weapon upgrade. I don't even know how I got it. So when it says auto, does that auto reload? No, it doesn't. I think it means you have an automatic gun. Oh sh! That could have been. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to beat that out. Let's see what time is that? 8:22. I'm gonna have to beat that yeah, out. Yeah, you gotta remember that. <laughs> Am I? Am I? Ah! If if people start shooting things that are projectiles, we're gonna start screaming. That's the kind of quality you expect. Oh yes. From the pixels there. And the reload guy reminds me of Dennis Haysbert. Oh god, he's gonna try to sell me crappy insurance. Yes. And then he's gonna be the president. Ah, shoot! Sexy man! We shot the sexy man now! We shot the sexy lady and the sexy man and Terry Crews. Actually, I don't think we shot Terry Crews, so that's good. You can't actually shoot them for the last time. Well, you can't actually shoot Terry Crews. He's he's invincible, if you know. He's bulletproof. He's Terry Crews. I thought he was Sia. Ah. Wait, you thought he was what? You said bulletproof. Oh, that's oh, I thought it was Syria. Yeah, right. I'm just being lame. This person needs to learn how to drive. Ricochet. Hey, he's a sexy man. He doesn't have to drive well. Gets by on his looks. Yep. And tips. Can't forget about those tips. Yes. Did you say tips or tits? Maybe I said both. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Can oh, we we're like barely going under these planes. Can we say tits? No! We might not be able to. Is that Terry Crews again? How did he get ahead of us? He is Terry <laughs> Crews. He can teleport. Oh, okay. Don't shoot the sexy lady! Ooh, I got a thing. Oh, shoot. I've got two grenades. I should be using this. Crap. Thanks for helping. Okay, I used one of them. It's like blowing up those little fire thing of yours. It's very satisfying. It's a very satisfying experience. Oh, yes. 
you ever had like a rough, stressful day and you just want to let loose? Yeah. And not think about anything? And you just like want to see some explosions and 90 style explosions, should I add? And Those are the best time, kind of explosions. Oh yeah, right? FMV quality. With Terry Crews and sexy men and women. Yeah. That you probably, that you can shoot but also not shoot. This has something for everybody. It's, it's got a little something for everybody. It's the Stefan of video games. This game has everything. It's got explosions, 90s style graphics, Terry Crews. I haven't seen any, um... Ah. Oh, oh man. That was not a good percentage wise there. What the hell? I don't know uh, what is that. Ooh, I like that you can break the window. I just want to do that in all of them now. That's the 32-bit power of the Sega Saturn. Yes, but does it have the blast processing? It does have blast processing, 32-bit blast processing. Wow. Actually, Sega Saturn, technically, if you want to be specific, uh, has two 32-bit processors. So it could potentially be a 64-bit system if the developers weren't lazy and only used on the CPU. Yes. All of these things. I just love digitized graphics. Mm -hmm. Digitized. Like, that's, that's the that's word. That's what we're thinking of. Digitized. Okay. <laughs> that might have been in, like a different take that got scrapped because there was a lot of them when the light gun wouldn't work. <laughs> we played the intro to this game like four times trying to get that gun to work. I don't even remember how long this game is. I know we beat it in the arcade on several quarters, but I don't know how long it actually is. I just, whenever everyone dies, I just like shooting random crap to see if it doesn't move. Like in Goldeneye, when you go in the bathroom and you shoot the toilets, everybody always shoots the toilets. Like, I swear, when that game came out, it was just like, let's shoot the freaking toilets. I was shooting toilets a year before with Duke Nukem 3D. Well, I didn't have Duke Nukem 3D. Well, technically, I didn't have Goldeneye either, but I had a neighbor who did. Sexy lady, I'm sorry! How dare you hurt that sexy lady? I think that was you. General oh. Weathersby? Is that... What? I love how that guy just... <laughs> no, he shot Terry Crews. Oopsie. <laughs> Let's get some. Alrighty. No! Okay, good. Ew, that guy's ugly. They're all ugly. Except for the sexy ones. So sexy aliens. That would like confuse the player and make it more difficult. I demand sexy aliens. They might be sexy if you're an alien. That is very true. Like, how dare I judge? Yeah, like stand up for alien rights. To party. Aliens gotta have rights to party too. Well, I'm gonna use my grenade grenade. Yeah! I'm really hoping this is showing up on camera. Oh yeah, you actually, this, this uh, flashes don't really mess it up that much. No. I was afraid it would just be like a video of a screen. Flash, 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 flash. We might need to do a seizure warning. Oh yeah, I'll throw that on there. Oh, I remember this from the arcade, the freaking elevator scene. <laughs> I, uh, I would just like to know how many quarters we spent on this game. Well, it says credits four. No, but normally in the arcade. Yeah, because it seems like this is a bit easier. Like, it's it's easier not well, to die. We put it on very point. easy mode, so go for uh, it. Yeah, but we play this so much when we go to the arcade. Mm -hmm. Which, look out, keep a lookout for our future videos of uh, local arcades that we like to frequent. Yeah, we want to do uh, arcade adventures or arcade, some sort of word that starts with an A, because it's got to be alliteration. Big fan of alliteration here. Except for Pixel Slayers and alliteration, but deal with it. Oh, there's so many. I'm gonna do. Yeah, I did my grenade. It was my last grenade, but it was worth it. Ooh, now I got another one. Yeah. Make sure you're always stocked. You never know when you need a grenade. Yep. You should tell our viewers about the story that um, you're in our friend's house in high school. Oh my god. So my friend's house, um, they, uh, they had all these like, antique war things. And they had this freaking grenade. And, oh, I used my grenade without wanting to, but whatever. Um, they had this antique grenade, and I knocked it over. 
And it was, like, completely empty. Like, why would they keep a freaking live grenade in their house? But I was a, you know, freaking naive teenager. Yeah, and so I go in there. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I knocked over some of your stuff. And my friend just stares at me with these blank eyes and goes, the pin is out. And I swear, I saw my life flash in front of my eyes for, like, five seconds. So gullible. And... <laughs> And everyone started laughing because, like, of course they're not going to keep a freaking live grenade in their bathroom. <laughs> but, Shout out to Cat Lakey. Yeah, Cat Lakey, we miss you. We miss you, girl. And your awesome Halloween parties slash birthday parties because her birthday was on Halloween. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to shoot the barrels. You shoot the people. Okay. Or aliens. Ah! Okay. There, there we go. go. Oh, uh, we have extra time, so I'm going to shoot all the crap. Why isn't it? Okay, I was going to say, I feel like it should be moving right now. We have a very easy so <laughs> because you... I don't know. Ah! Did they make a ah! time crisis for this? No, time crisis came out pretty much after Saturn was already dead. Oh, really? Well, it wasn't dead, like, really, but it wasn't, like, popular Holy in America. Crap, they're doing, like, a dance line. They're, like, doing... This is all synchronized, so, like... Give these guys a Tony. For choreography. Ooh, is this extra stuff? <laughs> really? Honestly, right now I want to give a shout out to the Castle Coasters in Phoenix. Like, that's where we usually play our classic games. Oh, yeah. They, um, have, a, they have pinball machines and... A whole second floor with corner classic, classic machines and the new stuff, too. But the new stuff's more expensive. Too. Okay, I'm gonna hit the grenades. You hit the guys. Oh, God, these are hard to hit. I'm just gonna hit the guys. I don't have much faith in you saying you're gonna help me. <laughs> I'm God, these guys are forever to kill. <sighs> Oh, Jeebus. Am I allowed to say Jeebus? I don't see why not. Okay. It's a fake word. It's with a B. Ugh. You got Castle of the Coast, you definitely want to cover that soon. It's, it's like our favorite arcade in Phoenix. I feel like we haven't said something in a while, so I'm gonna say something. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Maybe That's we should not talk, annoying. Maybe we should <laughs> talk about what other light gun games we have for the Saturn. Well, we have Virtual Cop 1 and 2, which are like pack-ins and must-haves. Uh, House of the Dead 2, which we will do another playthrough eventually, but we don't want to like overwhelm. Well, House of the Dead also, I guess. Did I <laughs> no, say House not the not House of the Dead 2. House of the Dead also. Also, <laughs> I do have House of the Dead 2, but not for the Saturn. No, we have that for the week. Um, what is the other one I have? I have another one I can't think at the moment. The two virtual, you said virtual cops. Maybe that's all I have, actually. This, Yeah, that's it. I only yeah. have four. Uh, I'll buy more in the future. I want to get Maximum <laughs> Force, which is like the Aerosmith, like, really bad. Oh my gosh, the... Wait, I thought that was the Revolution. Oh, Revolution X. Maybe, I'm thinking of... Well, Maximum Force is a sequel to this. Oh. I want to get that, and I want to get that Revolution X game, and then there's a hard to find expensive one from Wait, Konami. Did we beat this? I think we might have just beat the game. 90 miles outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, the most secret military base in the world. What is happening? I think it's telling us about the boss. It's a host for its brood. Yeah, I think this is the boss level. Mm. Which is going to be fun. Okay, guys, looks like we're here. I got... Second Lieutenant and Frankie got Sergeant Major, and we have 12 seconds. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> I have to always put something. Oh, I was gonna do AM PM, but tit. Are, yeah. we, are we allowed to say that? I don't know. I am am. I'm tit. Hey, I was over you. Yeah. I think we beat the game. That was it. I was really expecting some sort of crazy like end cinematic or you know Terry Crews congratulating us or something but I'm a little disappointed by the ending there but maybe hmm we didn't die no but wasn't there gonna there's no big boss or anything no but to be quite honest I'm gonna be quite honest with our viewers I was kind of in a trance during <laughs> that game like it's so easy and we're talking all the time I even I wasn't even paying attention you to were the just end. like bam 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 I don't even remember the end of the game well we we defeated this big thing with big claws it was just super easy to beat and I, I guess it was a boss and I honestly don't even remember like <laughs> doing it but yeah I think I was hypnotized I hypnotized myself with self hypnosis <laughs> playing this so play area 51 okay guys so that was area 51 on the Sega Saturn uh, awesome Midway uh, arcade game uh, ported in Japan and in America to the Sega Saturn. You can get the Japanese version a lot cheaper than the American version, um, about half the price. And you know I'm cheap, so I always go for the cheaper copy. Just make sure you have an action to replay, which we will show you uh, later on in another video on how to play mm-hmm. import Sega Saturn games. Yep. And if you so. found this video fun and you liked it, just hit that like button and subscribe if you want to. Uh, see more great content from the Pixel Slayers. Yeah, and we will be doing a review on this too at some point. Um, this will probably drop first, so just keep an eye out for that and uh, hit like or subscribe. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.